unaware that he was being recorded by a young black boy. A white man sat in a subway car, surrounded by the usual end-of-day hustle. Commuters were engrossed in their phones, students buried in books, and tired conversations filled the air. Fluorescent lights overhead flickered, creating a stark contrast with the darkening world outside. Tom, nestled into a corner seat, found himself distracted from the day's exhaustion by a barrage of thoughts. Tom's day at the advertising agency had been brutal, leaving him mentally rehearsing an important presentation for the next day. Add to that the looming weight of overdue rent. And Tom's stress was palpable. His brow was furrowed. His fingers restlessly drumming on his knee. And his eyes occasionally darted to his smartphone screen. On his phone, animated characters danced, jumped, and vied for points in a vibrant game. The subway, in its rhythmic fashion, jolted and lurched forward with each stop, bringing a fresh wave of people whose lives momentarily intersected in the enclosed space. Among them, a young boy of about ten stepped in. He was noticeably different from the rest. Not because of his dark skin, but due to the state of his clothes, his t-shirt had seen brighter days, bearing the signs of wear and tear, and his mismatched shoes revealed toes peeking out from a hole. This boy, Jamal, with an air of timidity yet curiosity, slid onto the seat beside Tom. He tried to be discreet, but his gaze kept shifting to the glowing screen of Tom's phone. Jamal's big eyes were filled with wonder holding stories far deeper than the boy's age would suggest. They observed the animated characters with a mixture of awe and yearning, silently wishing to be lost, even for a moment, in the pixelated world of games, away from whatever hardships he faced daily. Recognizing the desire in the young boy's gaze, Jamal gathered the courage to voice his thoughts. That looks fun. He said, his voice carrying the undertones of countless dreams and a life that demanded him to grow up too fast. The simplicity of his statement concealed layers of unspoken wishes. Not just for the game but perhaps for a momentary respite from his life's challenges. Tom's world of presentations, rent, and other adult concerns momentarily faded. He looked at the boy, genuinely seeing him for the first time rather than being irritated or dismissive. A gentle smile tugged at the corners of his lips. The gravity of the day's worries seemed inconsequential in the face of the boy's pure, unadulterated enthusiasm for something as simple as a game. Here was a child, a symbol of innocence and simplicity, reminding Tom of the joy in little things. Without a second thought, Tom extended his smartphone towards Jamal, the screen's glow reflecting in the boy's eager eyes. Why don't you give it a try? He offered. It was more than just an invitation to play, it was a bridge between two worlds. Two strangers on a subway momentarily connected by the universal language of kindness. The muted sounds of the subway car continued around them. But for a brief moment, the world seemed to pause for Tom and Jamal. The glimmers of light from the screen illuminated Jamal's face as he played. His fingers dancing to the rhythm of the animated characters. The vivid colors of the game danced in his eyes. Reflecting the sheer joy and innocence of a world that was different from his own. Tom watched Jamal with a mixture of fascination and empathy. Here was a child utterly absorbed in the digital realm of pixels and sound momentarily free from the burdens that his worn clothes hinted at. Curiosity tugged at Tom's mind. And he found himself gently asking. You're pretty good at this. Tell me. What's your story? Jamal paused the game. Momentarily forgotten. And looked up. His eyes searched Tom's face for signs of genuine interest or mere politeness. Encouraged by the soft inquiring look in Tom's eyes. 
he began hesitantly at first. Unraveling the threads of his life. Every day after school. Jamal would rush to a local grocery store where he worked. Stacking shelves and running errands. The meager money he earned was crucial. Especially since his father's abrupt departure had left a gaping hole in their lives, both emotionally and financially. The weight of responsibility. Usually reserved for adults. Had prematurely settled on Jamal's young shoulders. With a mother battling a chronic illness and medical bills piling up. The world seemed unrelentingly harsh for someone so young. Tom listened intently. Each word from Jamal chiseling away at his heart. The child's narrative was not just a tale of adversity but also of indomitable spirit and unwavering love. Amid the chaos of their lives. Jamal's primary concern remained his mother's health and the hope that someday he could save enough for her medication. Perhaps. Just perhaps. They could return to the carefree days of his childhood. A surge of emotion welled up inside Tom. He thought of his own challenges, overdue bills and work stresses, but they paled in comparison to Jamal's. The resilience and purity emanating from this young boy tugged at something deep within Tom. Without overthinking it, Tom reached for his wallet. Extracting a few bills, he found himself adding a couple more. Driven by an urge to alleviate, even if only slightly, the burdens that Jamal carried. Holding out the money, Tom whispered, For your mom's medicine. Then, with an earnest and pleading tone, he added, and promise me you'll concentrate on school. It wasn't about the money, but the genuine concern and kindness that took Jamal by surprise. His big eyes, which had sparkled with childlike wonder moments ago, now brimmed with tears. The weight of gratitude mixed with the novelty of an unexpected act of kindness threatened to spill over. Nodding fervently, Jamal's voice choked with emotion. I promise. He managed to utter. The two sat there. Momentarily bound by an inexplicable bond, a testimony to the powerful ripples that genuine human connection can create in the vast ocean of life. Lisa possessed a discerning eye. Honed by years of experience in the world of documentary filmmaking. She had borne witness to a myriad of emotions. Ranging from the deepest sorrows to the most radiant joys. Her focus was not on grand spectacles but on the subtle, unscripted moments that often escaped notice amidst the daily chaos. Nestled among the sea of commuters, Lisa's attention was unintentionally drawn to an unusual pairing, Tom, with his corporate demeanor, and Jamal, whose every gesture hinted at a life lived beyond his tender years. From her vantage point, she observed how a simple game had transformed into a profound exchange of stories and shared humanity. The scene possessed an undeniable magnetism. Without much thought, Lisa's trained fingers retrieved her phone from her bag and activated its camera. Her lens captured Jamal's wide-eyed wonder. The gentle furrow of Tom's brow as he listened intently. And the subtle exchange of bills that spoke volumes. Through her viewfinder. Lisa didn't see just two individuals but rather an emblematic representation of the unexpected intersections of life. As the subway train slowed to a stop and the automated voice announced the station, Lisa stowed her phone away. Her mind was a whirlwind of thoughts. The scene she had witnessed and recorded was a powerful reminder of the serendipitous connections that could be forged in the most unexpected places. The fleeting interaction between Tom and Jamal stood as a testament to the universality of human emotions and the innate desire for connection, regardless of one's background or circumstances. Stepping onto the platform, Lisa was enveloped by the cacophony of the subway station, the hum of conversations, echoing footsteps, and the distant rumble of another approaching train. Yet her mind remained elsewhere. She began to formulate a narrative. 
piecing together the segments of raw footage into a cohesive story with an overarching theme that resonated deeply within her, the transformative power of unexpected kindness. The more Lisa pondered, the more she realized the potential impact of the footage she had captured. In a world increasingly defined by digital interactions and fleeting connections, genuine human interaction was becoming a rarity. And yet, here was a poignant reminder of the profound connections that could be made even in the transient confines of a subway carriage. Inspired, Lisa set to work over the next few days. She meticulously edited the footage, interspersing it with other moments of spontaneous kindness she had captured over the years. She coupled the visuals with a soulful narration, emphasizing the potential for connection and compassion in everyday encounters. The finished product was a short, evocative film aptly titled Strangers on a Train. When Lisa released the video online, the response was overwhelming. Viewers from around the world were moved by its simple yet powerful message. Many shared their own stories of unexpected encounters that had left indelible marks on their lives. The video became a viral sensation. But more importantly, it sparked a global conversation about the inherent goodness that existed within us all. For Lisa, the film was a reaffirmation of her belief in the power of storytelling. But beyond that, it served as a poignant reminder that even in a world filled with strangers, moments of genuine connection and kindness could illuminate the darkest corners, creating ripples that resonated far and wide. The digital age has witnessed countless stories go viral. But few had the emotional depth and resonance of Lisa's strangers on a train. It wasn't merely a video, it was a testament to the human spirit and connection. Within days of its release, the video had garnered millions of views. Tom and Jamal, once ordinary individuals going about their daily lives, were now the unwitting protagonists of a tale that tugged at the heartstrings of many. Beyond the views and shares, the comments section bloomed with heartfelt messages. Many were deeply moved by Jamal's story of a young boy bearing burdens far too heavy for his age. A mother from Italy wrote about her own struggles. A teacher from Japan shared tales of students like Jamal. And a businessman from Canada expressed a wish to help. Amidst the sea of digital reactions, there was a recurring sentiment, an urge to reach out, to lend a hand, to make a difference. It was this collective yearning for positive change that Lisa noticed. And she pondered how to channel this outpouring of support into tangible action. Collaborating with Tom, they decided to set up a foundation dedicated to children like Jamal, children thrust into life's battles far too early. With Lisa's storytelling skills and Tom's corporate network, the foundation was swiftly established. Named Beacon of Hope, its mission was clear, to provide opportunities for education, healthcare, and, most importantly, a childhood that every child deserves. News of the foundation spread, and donations poured in from across the globe. There were offers of sponsorships, scholarships, medical supplies, and much more. Schools partnered with the foundation to offer free education. Medical facilities provided healthcare, and local communities volunteered their time and skills. The momentum was unstoppable. The foundation's first major project was to set up an after-school center where children could study, play, and simply be children. These centers also provided counseling services for children and their families, aiding them in healing from past traumas. Tom, who once worried about presentations and rent, now found himself at the forefront of a cause much greater than himself. He was often seen at these centers, mentoring children and sharing stories. Jamal, with his newfound security and support, flourished both academically and personally. No longer burdened by his family's financial struggles, he became an ambassador for the foundation. 
inspiring countless others with his resilience and spirit. Lisa continued documenting, capturing the waves of change that stemmed from that one act on the subway. Her videos showcased stories of children uplifted by the foundation, of communities coming together, and of hope being rekindled. Each story further fueled the foundation's mission, creating a virtuous cycle of kindness and support. Through the whirlwind of events, the bond between Lisa, Tom, and Jamal only deepened. Birthdays were celebrated together, challenges were faced as a united front, and countless memories were forged. Their friendship stood as a heartwarming reminder of the magic that could arise from the most unexpected encounters. Years later, as they looked back, it was hard to fathom how a brief interaction on a subway could snowball into a movement that impacted countless lives. But it did. And at the heart of it all was a simple yet profound realization, in a world often characterized by division and indifference. Acts of genuine kindness could bridge divides, illuminating the boundless potential of the human spirit.